The Poppy Genetics um, study is the first randomized controlled trial where we used genotyping to find the best P2Y12 inhibitor for patients who come into the hospital with a STEMI and undergo primary PCI. And let me tell you why we did this study. First of all, the guidelines advise to use a strong P2Y12 inhibitor in all these patients, so that's Ticacolor or Prazugrel. But the drawback of these stronger P2Y12 inhibitors is that they also cause bleeding, and bleeding is related to mortality. And the reason why clopidogrel, the weaker clopidogrel, is weaker than Ticacolor and Prazugrel is that many patients are carriers of a loss of function allele, so they do not respond properly to clopidogrel. So we hypothesized if we could find or identify the patients who are carriers of a loss of function allele and treat those patients with Ticacolor or Prazugrel, but treat the patients who are no carriers of a loss of function allele with good old clopidogrel, we could reduce bleedings without a loss of efficacy. So in the end, we randomized 2,500 patients with STEMI undergoing primary PCI to standard of care, and that's Ticacolor or Prazugrel, or to genotyping. And based on genotyping, we treated the patients with a loss of function allele with Ticacolor or Prazugrel, and that was the case in about 35% of the patients, but the patients who were no carriers of a loss of function allele were treated with clopidogrel. So what did we find? In this trial, bleeding, plato major and minor, was significantly reduced by using genotype-guided strategy. Uh, and we did not find an increase of thrombotic events. So death, myocardial infarction, stent thrombosis, and stroke was similar in the two groups. So we now have a way to define the best P2Y12 inhibitor based on the genotype, which is easy to use. Uh, we found out that it can easy, easily be done also in a cath lab. So you take a buccal swab of a patient when he is undergoing PCI, you put it in a machine, which is fully automatic, and then you get within one hour the results, and you know whether this patient is going to respond to clopidogrel or not. So when the patient arrives in the ward, you are informed about the best P2Y12 inhibitor. So I think that's a major advantage to how to treat these patients who are undergoing primary PCI.